Your assistant living. You have maintenance issues here to deal with. What? When maintenance goes down, Mr. Brown steps up. I got after his big screen TV. That was two small TVs pushed together. That's picture in picture. All right, assisted living fans, you just saw the brief 15 second promo. It was probably less than 15 seconds. Uh, the promo for next week's episode, season two, episode 11, Mr. Big Stuff. So, Mr. Brown lets business success go to his head, but he gets taken down a peg when the residents threaten to move out. And the promo pretty much demonstrates uh, Mr. Brown's lack of maintenance. That's pretty much the gist of what I'm getting from this uh, tr promo. But before moving forward, you know the drill. Over 70% of viewers are from those who have not subscribed. So in order to help me reach at least 50%, subscriber watch time by the end of the month hit subscribe as we grow closer to 200,000 subscribers but yeah the promo has Anastasia FA uh, Reginald just everybody going in on Mr. Brown for barely keeping um, the assisted living facility up and running and they complain about all these issues and Mr. Brown says you know what what, what about if he's in a big screen TV I deliver and then Jeremy's like Mr. Brown you put two small TVs side by side but that's picture to picture and it's kind of interesting that this would be a focal point of the episode considering that in episode 10 which was last night's episode um you had Jeremy funky from running rag and you know non-stop fixing toilets you know basically accommodating those in the facility and this is some and i'm recording this video before my episode review and i and yeah mr brown and Cora weren't even in that episode but um yeah i i guess jeremy is doing a lot of the heavy lifting but it, it's interesting to uh see the perspective of mr brown i mean if i were the person who put up a lot of money to and look i know it was in season one it was established a business partnership and I think Brown put up like, what was it like $20,000 or something? And I don't know exactly how much Jeremy and Leah put in, if anything, because at that point he had lost his job. So that's why he uprooted his family to move to Atlanta to fix up the facility and make a living off there. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, hmm. I mean, Mr. Brown... Hey, I paid for the place to be up and running, but I guess it was his responsibility to maybe hire a maintenance crew, maybe a couple extra people. That would be nice. But the question is, can he keep up the accommodations that his residents want him to keep up in order to make them stay? Because if they move out, you know, best believe they'll probably want a refund and that ain't going to be, you know, something he wants. So will Mr. Brown's success go to his head before you know, the residents check out. Can he get his ego in check? Who knows? But either way, we have another episode to look forward to next Tuesday night. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one.